Welcome back to another LMMS tutorial. In this video, we're going to be learning about the FX mixer uh, and how to use it. So in the past, we've just been closing it right off the bat. Um, that's because it basically controls the master volume and the different channels for everything that we do. And we've just been putting everything in the same channel up, into this, uh, up to this point. So to get it to come back, if it's gone for you, you just click this button here. It's also the F9 key on your keyboard will toggle showing and hiding the FX mixer. Um, so once you have it open though, you'll notice that this just says uh, zero and then master. And if we open up, well, I don't know if I wanna do that or not. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go to samples. Let's go to my projects or where's my projects? And then go to demos and let's do this one here. I think this only has, yeah, this is a good example. This one only has one. Uh, so this is that angry llama song. We used it, we looked at it quite a bit earlier, but it only has one channel. So if we hit play, we see what it sounds like. We can change the volume by just left clicking and holding. And that changes the volume of everything on here all together. Or we can make it really loud too. But that's basically the master volume. But let's say we want to change the volume of some of these other parts. We could do, and they're already adjusted a little bit. You see this volume here. So if we hit play, we can control the volume of just this instrument by left clicking and dragging. Uh, it's messing up because it, while it's playing, it's kind of messing up a little bit. Oh, I know why it's doing that because it has an effect on there. Okay, never mind. Um, what about this one? So, oh yeah, this whole song has some effects. That's kind of interesting. Okay, so let's apply some different uh, some different channels. So if we hit plus, we can actually add some channels. And so we have now we have our main master, which is zero, and then we have one and two, and one and two, nothing's tied to these at all. And so let's say we wanted um, these claps. When it does these claps at the end, claps are on FX channel zero, but I can use my scroll wheel to change them to FX channel two. Or I can right click and go assign to channel one. So let's make it channel one. And now these claps, when these claps get played, they're happening on channel one. So we see volume happening here. So we can make those claps really loud now and we can have everything else be soft. And maybe we want, um, let's hit stop again. Maybe we also want uh, this main melody. This is gonna mess things up a little bit, I think, but let's make this main melody. If we click on it, let's assign it to channel two and then close. So now when we play, when we get, when we get to the melody, we see, why isn't our channel one playing now? Oh, because there weren't claps. So now we have three different channels we have here. We can adjust. And we can have just this one be louder. So there's also volume over here, but what we have actually is an effect that's been added. So that's something else that we can do with these. So suppose we want to on this, uh, which one was it? The claps was channel one. Let's suppose on this effects channel one, we want to add uh, an effect. So we can click here and click add effect. And then we can add, we can scroll through and look at all these different effects and we can type in, um, you know, different things that we want to do. And so we can come over here and say, let's do, and I'm going to be honest, like I don't understand a lot of these effects. I haven't, I don't have a lot of experience with them, but let's try like this phaser. I kind of know what phaser might do. So if we click phaser, it brings us all these options and it's going to apply a phaser. So we can listen to just these claps by just clicking here. We can solo and hit play. Now we can listen to what this just this track sounds like. And then we can adjust some of these things. And I don't know if we'll get a good effect. So you can tell that's changing the sound a little bit. So with this applied, it's going to sound a little bit different than with it not applied. We can we can test the difference before and after. So basically, we've we've applied an effect, but we've applied it to this channel only. So only the chaps cla uh, claps channel has this effect, this phaser effect applied to it. Channel two has no effects applied to it. That might've been a better one to do. Let's try that one. Let's go to channel two, which I think was this. Is that right? Yeah, uh, no, that's channel zero. It was this melody is channel two. So let's solo just the melody right here. And let's apply an effect to it. So we go add effect, and then we just find a nice effect that we want to add in there. Let's do this canyon delay. 
and hit OK. And now these are the options associated with Canyon Delay. So let's hit play. And we'll go to that part of the song and we'll change some of this. That's cool. That's a subtle effect. You can hear like kind of the difference that it's doing. And now we can uh, we can turn that up a little bit. Maybe we want that volume to be there. And now we can hear the whole thing all together. So we can control the volume separate, but we can also control the different uh, effects that are on different channels. And so we can and we could break out every different. If we wanted to, we could add a whole bunch of channels here and break out every different drum to a different channel and apply different effects to each one if we really wanted to. And we can have tons. We can have as many channels as we want here. And as many different effects as we want as well. Um, and what I will say is, I wasn't going to cover this maybe in the next video, but what, what you can actually do is tie the volume. Oh no, we'll do it in the next video. Um, but there's something going on here, which is why we couldn't adjust. If we watch here, we see this volume here is actually under an effect. So the effects they had on um, channel zero by default on the master channel is they had this fast look ahead limiter and they had this C plate um, which is controlled uh, by um, something on here. We'll cover it in the next video. So, But for now, that's how you do the FX mixer and I hope you found this video informative and I will catch you on the next video.